Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript and frameworks. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a response to another video that I made about this subscriber who had decided to forcibly sort of migrate over the company code base from vanilla JavaScript to React. And let's just say that people weren't all that happy about that. So the subscriber asked, but Frederick, surely in that video you recommend that this person thinks it through and probably stays on vanilla JavaScript. Isn't vanilla JavaScript basically a byword for legacy code? And the short answer is no, it's not. And let me explain that a bit. You see, what I wrote back to the subscriber who asked the question was that what you have to understand is that Software is not about the code. That may, may seem like an odd statement because surely all software is written in code and this is true, but what you have to grasp, which is so hard to understand when you start out, is that no company is paying for you to write the most modern code available. That also sounds weird, right? But just think it through. The company that is paying you to write software is not paying you necessarily to write code. It's just that these problems that this company is facing that will earn them an income or earn them a revenue can be solved through coding means. And that's why you are there because you can write the software. Now, what's interesting about that is that if the company has decided that we are going to use a really outdated tech stack. That doesn't actually necessarily mean that their revenue will be affected. There are millions and millions and millions of dollars or other currencies, whichever you prefer, that is being made every day from code that is horrendous. Some of it is old, using really outdated languages. Some of it is so bad that only maybe a handful of people kind of know how it works. And every time you want to add a feature, you might have a week of overhead in just trying to regression test and do this sort of stuff, right? Guys, after a while, you will notice the trend in the tech talks that you find on the web and in other places. And they all revolve around the same sort of areas. Now, why is that, do you think? Because if everybody was on a modern tech stack and everybody was using the latest and greatest things, what would there be left to talk about? And that's kind of the point that I made to this subscriber. It's not a discussion of whether or not it is bad to use JavaScript and vanilla JavaScript and better to use React. It's a matter of investment from the perspective of the company. You see, if you asked the, the, in this previous video, if you asked this person went and said that, you know what, I'm going to rewrite our solutions in to React. If you do that without thinking it through, what you create is a situation where you are now taking a risk because code that is working, because if it wasn't working, you wouldn't be working at that company because you wouldn't be paid. Uh, the company has to make money for, from, from this code. If you were to rewrite that, you are taking a risk and that risk is number one, that you might break something, which is going to cost money. And the second risk that you are taking is that you might put the company in a position where they now had to educate their staff, which was the case in this previous video, where the company was unhappy with this person who was trying to forcibly rewrite everything into React because their other staff were accustomed to working with vanilla JavaScript in a certain fashion. Now, this person didn't go through the proper channels in order to make a proper effort into changing something in their company. That's also something I've told you many times before. If you want to change a culture of work within a company, that is a much harder thing to do than just saying, hey, we're going to use this thing. Because at the end of the day, you are not alone. And if you have other people around, you are going to have to make them buy into the idea, which this person didn't do. But as the subscriber is asking, doesn't that mean that they're basically using legacy code just because they're using vanilla JavaScript? Not necessarily but highly likely, it's highly likely that they have a really ugly code base. And that's why I'm saying to you, just ask that question, what does that matter? Does it really matter 
to the perspective of the, from the perspective of the company if they're using vanilla JavaScript or React. No, it doesn't. They don't care. They want it to work because they're making money from the code. That's why they care about just making sure that things stay the way that they are. So if you wanted to make an effort into migrating from something like vanilla JavaScript over to React, you have to very clearly prove that that investment is going to have a payout of some sort. It's going to end up with the company gaining something that they care about. And that's the big mystery secret to all of these questions that you guys sometimes have around, oh, but surely Frederick, if uh, we have a really ugly system, we should start using unit test, or surely we should migrate from, I don't know, Java over to Go because it's much more performant. It all comes down to the same thing, guys. It's all about investment versus output or gain. It, there is a reason, if you, did, if you haven't reflected much on, that, on this, that the banking world, well, most of the banks are still using COBOL or Fortran. Maybe the really, really progressive ones are using some type of Java solutions. And they're still doing that because the systems that they have, although outdated, are working. And the complexity of rewriting and the risk to the bank's revenue stream is fairly high. And so it's actually cheaper and more affordable for them to try to find people or educate people into just knowing how to use these systems. That's a it's a cost benefit analysis. And we software developers, a lot of us at the very least, Forget this. We forget what our purpose is. We, because we are in a world where we are in a kind of luxury industry, if you ask me in many ways. We are one of the few industries where the workers start forgetting that the code and the stuff that on the tools and all the stuff that they're using, that is just something that is supposed to help them actually make more money for the company and improve practices. But because we're in this borderland between well, I'm not saying science necessarily, but let's call it innovation and industry. Well, I hope we just bear with me. We're in this borderline where the line between what we do that is very useful in terms of revenue and what we do what's, which is very useful in terms of community development and innovation and pushing the envelope, right? That line is so blurred that some people just keep, seem to forget that your, your job is not to write code in the latest and greatest tools. The only reason you would do that is if it actually gains you some type of benefit. And that's the sort of mindset that the company has. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you are using something like vanilla JavaScript, and sure, you could make the argument that in the modern age, you should be using something like React or Angular or so forth. And no, but once again, it depends. If you have a very simple web static website and there is really no hindrance to the revenue stream of the company just because you're on a vanilla JavaScript stack, then there's no reason for you to change because just because you're on a quote unquote outdated stack, that doesn't mean that the product is suffering in some fashion. There are tons of industries and processes within human society that aren't really updated. They keep on staying, they stay the same way for years and years and years. Some of them have been around for hundreds of years because we've never, never seen a reason to update them. There has never been a development within that area that required some type of upgrade. So we just keep it the way it is. Don't mess with it if it ain't broke, that sort of idea, right? And the same thing goes in software. This idea to be bleeding edge all the time is only really relevant in companies that prioritize this and in the developer's mind. But the company, they don't actually care what you work with as long as they get the results. Have a great day.